Hi, Dr. Drake. Uh, this is my nephew, Ryan. He's going to be helping out with the EKG, the Chapter 3 video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to place an electrode right here on the right arm, right in the upper arm area. <clears throat> Next electrode is going to be on the left arm. And then that's going to complete lead one, which is a bipolar lead. Um, for this lead, this one is going to be negative. And then this one is going to be positive. For the next lead, we're going to go from that right arm into that left uh, foot. So we're just going to go to the left hip area, place an electrode right there. This one down here on the left foot is going to be positive. And then that's going to be lead two. And I got lead one up there. Um, lead three, we don't need any more electrodes. <clears throat> We're going to use the left arm, which is going to go down to the left foot. So that one will be lead three. Okay. Those are all um, going to be part of that bipolar lead circuit. Um, for the next ones, we actually don't need any more electrodes. So we're going to go to the unipolar or the augmented ones. So the first one we're going to place on or talk about is the AVR. It's going to be on the right arm. And then AVL, which is going to be on that left arm. And then the uh, AVF. Let's turn a little bit. Okay. So all those, um, those are all going to be positive ones for the AVR, AVL, and AVF. So <clears throat> next one we're going to do is the precordinal ones. So to find those, you need to go to the uh, clavicle, go to the intercostal spaces. So the first one we're going to start at is V1. We're going to go to the... Uh, fourth intercostal space. Let's find that. Just going to place one right there. Right there. It's going to be V1. And then V2 is just going to go directly on the other side. Okay. And then now we're going to go to uh, V4, which is going to be on the fifth intercostal space. So one side, one space down. And then it's actually going to go in between the middle of the clavicle straight down. So we'll go right about there. It's going to be V4. And then V3 is going to be placed right in the middle of those two, between V2 and V4. I'm going to place that one right there. <clears throat> and then V5 is going to be placed on that same fifth intercostal sp uh, space, we're just moving a little bit more laterally, right into that like auxiliary line a little bit. So that will be V5. <clears throat> and then kind of the same thing with uh, V6, just gonna move a little bit more laterally, kind of more into that armpit area. And all those precordinal ones, those are all, all um, also all positive. <clears throat> um, so for the kind of the, uh, what's it called, the deflection. So all of the leads one through three, those are all going to have a positive def deflection. 
Um, AVR is the only one that produces a negative deflection because it's away from that electrical impulse of the heart. Um, AVL and ABF <clears throat> are both positive. V1 um, from the precordinal is negative. V2 can also be slightly negative. Um, V3 and V4 are gonna do you have a like a neutral kind of iso um, um, isoelectric kind of reflection or deflection, and then V5 and V6 <clears throat> are gonna be the only ones from the precordinal that produce a positive uh, deflection. All right, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, all right, thanks.